Hey everyone, it's me with new gifts to unveil. Very excited about these. I've I've I've, I've an idea what a couple of, what one of these things is, but the other things are they kind of came out of uh, of nowhere. So I know this is from my friend Don, and Don, who I met at uh, well, I met him at Dearly Departed Tours, but he and his family were in the amusement amusement business, and Don. Uh, uh, they travel with stingrays. Oh, God, that was great. It was great meeting them. And we are friends, and we talk about sideshows and circuses and amusement park rides because that's their family, their family business legacy. So Don sent this, and don't know what it is. <laughs> it's an Alex Trebek. <laughs> and I say, of course it is. <laughs> this is cool. Alex Trebek. Let's see. Hi, Scott and Troy. Hope you're both well. Thanks for keeping all of us death eggs entertained. I came across the matches in the notepad in an auction. Okay, I'm not going to read any more because I want to see what it is. I made sure with Don that I could show this stuff as I was undoing it. Oh, look at that. Rocky Horror Matches. Oh, these are really cool. Yeah. Okay, looking at the matchbook, it says it's from the Varsity Theater. And the description that Donnie sent, it says, uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show came to St. Louis in March of 76. There's a Varsity in St. Louis. Uh, showing the now defunct Varsity Theater in the University City in St. Louis, Missouri. The movie ran every night, every night as the main feature for three weeks. Pete Piccioni, who owned the Varsity, brought the film back as a midnight movie on occasional weekends for the rest of the year and on through 1977. One of the first 30 U.S. theaters to do so. By May of 78, Rocky was playing every weekend until the theater closed in 88. Michael Stipe, later known as the lead singer of the band R.E.M., was amongst the early regulars dressing as Frankenfurter. This is very cool. I love it. Thank you, Don. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, that was their advertising campaign because it looks like the shark from Jaws. And uh, they were they were obviously... Oh, look at that. <laughs> a memo. A Shirley Temple memo. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley Wouldn't Temple. you? And they're right. <laughs> Get me Alex Trebek's stat. <laughs> How fun is that? These are cool. So it says... Um, Came across the matches and notepad in an auction and had came to mind. Hope you don't have either. I don't. The Alex photo I thought you might like to add to your collection if you don't have it. I got it at a taping of Jeopardy while Joe and I were working at the L.A. County Fair a few years ago. Take good care. And thanks for all you do, Donnie. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Very cool. Cheryl. Who would ever put those together? You know? <laughs> we. <laughs> Don. Donnie. Thank you, Donnie. Now, this one comes from uh, Jordan. Jordan the Lion, my buddy Jordan. And it's really funny because I get email notifications if packages come in, and they tell me who it's from. And you can see how Jordan put his address. It's actually, you know, my old, uh, Jordan's old Hollywood, uh, Los Angeles zip code. But my com <laughs> my mailbox put it down. That's all they can see. They say, Gala the Lion. <laughs> So that's Jordan's new name, Gala the La <laughs> Gala Gala the Yion. <laughs> that's really quite funny, Gala. Anyway, what did Jordan send us today? Something good. Ooh, yeah. Oh, look at that! Cool, the Ernest Tubb Record Shop. In Nashville, we stopped there. Mm -hmm. um, they're closing it down. Jordan no. told me. Yeah, they're closing it down. Oh, it's and uh, and Jordan took a visit there, and they were kind of dicky because he wanted to, you know, vlog it. And they're like, no, no cameras inside. It's like, God, Even I'm so sure. Closing? Yeah. Oh. And they would only let him buy like a shirt, you know, just one. It was really dicky. That's so um, he asked me if I wanted. So this is cool. I got an Ernest Tubb bumper sticker. I got an Ernest Tubb postcard. And I got an Ernest Tubb record shop. Loretta's Gil, gifts by Loretta Lynn. Because they have like a Loretta Lynn um, museum in there. Very cool. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Gala. <laughs> oh, here it is, too. I knew you were going to send this. It's a keychain. A keychain from Ernest Tubb's record shop. Hmm. 
Galati. What? That's it? That's all you spent on me? <laughs> is that what I'm worth? Is that what I'm worth? <laughs> Four ninety eight. Oh no! Very cool. Thank you. <laughs> very very cool. Thank you, Gala. Thank you, Donnie. This is some. There's this. There's this artist that sends me things, and I never get a note. Just this. Uh, this return. And um, you saw, like, in the little video I did not that long ago, there was, like, a magnet of a person in, with no, no legs, you know, in a wheelchair. We have it on our refrigerator now, and uh, which I love. And this is so cool. This is a, uh, a Manson-related article. And I want to say Yamo. That's, uh, that's uh, Spanish, I believe. This is probably from, yeah, Juan Carlos Trevino. So this is probably, uh, let's see where, I'm going to open this without screwing it up. But thank you, nice person. You never sign. You never sign your name, but you always send me cool things, stickers, and those chicks are creepy as shit. This is cool. Poor Juan Carlos Trevino. Is that the, where does it? Oh, I'm sorry. Where is this from? Let me see if I can touch something on the front. It says where it's from. It's Mother Ter It's Tisha. It's Mother Teresa. Impacto number 1551. Ah. Oh. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's Mexico. Okay. But it's really cool. It doesn't have a year on it or anything, but it's very... Interesting. Thank you. Nice person. So, very cool. Thank you. Ingrid Bergman. Oh, so it was before she died. All right. And last but not least, this is from my friend Scott in also Nashville. And I need a different cutting tool for that. So I'll use this one. This is like, you could take off a finger easily with this. That's why you always open things towards you. Scott Michaels. This is a treasure trove. Thank you so much for all your years of entertainment from Find It Death, Leader, part of the podcast, and many others. Included are a few things for you, for your, for you in appreciation. Hope you and Troy are well. Thanks, Scott. So, um, Scott Shaddix. He signed his name so I can say his name. And let's see. Here's a roof of, piece of a roof. Love this kind of stuff. Pete Burdett owned the Pure Oil Station in Oak Hill, Nevada in 1951. Hake Williams' death car was stored here until his family came to get it. Some say this was the stop where he was found dead. My research says otherwise. Pete Burdett committed suicide out back in the 70s. It was raised in 2006. This was found in the gravel parking lot there now in 2016. That's interesting. And that's cool because it goes with uh, with uh, the Ernest Tubb record store with the Nashville thing. And the more recent, uh, we got Tammy Wynette's Christmas card. Uh, so that's cool. Now, yeah, what's this? Oh, it's a watch. Ooh, look. Let me take it out. What's she said? It looks like it's still working. What is it? It says... Porter Wagner's watch. Shut up. Pick this up at his estate sale in 2019. Porter Wagner's watch. I'm dying. This is crazy. Wow. <laughs> of course, Porter Wagner's watch showed up in the mail. This is so cool. <laughs> Hank Williams, death car roof. Porter Wagner's I know just where to put this. <laughs> wow, look at this. Look at this. This is a, a CMA award. Country Music Association award. Wow, look at that. 
Country Music Association Award. These statues were given out to winners from 1967 to 1982. This is, there is a photograph that he sent me. I did know this was coming. He told me this and I just like, it was breathtaking. There's a photograph of Loretta Lynn holding one of these exact things. And uh, I like to think, it's not, it's not positive uh, if it's the one that, uh, if it was actually given out, but it looks like the one that Loretta Lynn had. But they were giving these out from 67 to 82. Oh, I see. He's saying, I have no idea if it was a sample or who it was given to. It's an auction fine. So, okay. So this is like a... Okay, got it. So they might have taken the plaque off of it. Or it might be a sample. Or it's Loretta Lynn's, which is what I choose to believe. <laughs> so, um, so this is very, very cool. Wow. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Look at these. Porter Wagner's watch. Shut up. The death car roof thing, which goes well with our death car, the Jamie Hensfield thing. And the Country Music Award. Thank you so much, Scott. Um, gosh, you know, we love this stuff. So uh, thank you very much, nice artist person. Thank you very much, Gala, the Yeon. <laughs> thank you so much, Donnie. And you guys are, are so nice. Um, gosh, look at that. Look at that. It's one week from our last unboxing video, and amazingly, people have sent more things. And uh, so before I sent this thing out, before I sent the last video out, I figured, well, let's, let's add this. So this is gonna be an addition to the last unboxing video. So thank you again to everyone, and, uh, and uh, let's go ahead and crack on and see what's going on here people you know people are just so nice and um yeah so that time i almost did nick myself uh. <laughs> all right let's see what's going on here oh. Ooh, playboy alley alley <gasps> Look. oh this is the 1967 playboy with sharon in it Sharon Tate is in this. And the bunnies of the Show Me State show off in a 10-page pictorial. I want to, um, but I can't, because I don't, I want to flick. <laughs> I'm gonna flick through this, but I do. Uh, but I don't want to, because I don't know what's there. Comment like that. Yeah, because I don't want to do, um, I, I can't show. Boobies, no boobies, nothing. You can't show. Oh, because she's she's intelligent. She's wearing <laughs> she's wearing glasses. That means she's smart. <laughs> and she does pole dancing. Okay. Oh, she she skis. Okay, Exotica and exert. Well. You can stop it. I mean, we'll, we can uh, we can just pick it up there. to work. Oh, here she is. Here is. Oh, okay. So this is when they. Oh, right, that's like Roman took these pictures of her. Roman took these, I think, and uh, and when they were filming the Fearless Vampire Girls, you know, Sharon was beautiful, of course. Sharon had beautiful blonde hair. Why do we know about the shitty red wigs? Always shitty. Like in in the the Wrecking Crew. The worst wig ever. The worst wig ever. What is that? So I don't understand. <laughs> that bothers me. But, but, there she is. Beautiful Sharon. Look at that. And Ferdy Maine. Boobies, boobies, boobies. So, yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you very much. Allie, you're very kind to have sent this to us, and there's a note. I own your DVD, The Six Degrees of Helter Skelter, and by far one of the best I've seen on, Char on Charles. Hope to one day come to LA and do your tour. That ain't gonna happen. If you still offer them. Here's a copy of the 67 Playboy with the beautiful Sharon Tate on the cover but it's in perfect condition, so handle with care. Thank you very much from Aurora, Illinois. Thank you, Allie. Thank you. Thank you. 
Sharon. All right, so this one is, let's see what this is. This is from, well, we'll see if there's a note in here. Okay, there is a note. To you, Scott and Troy, thank you for all your great videos and for sharing your lives with us. Some of the things I've learned in your videos have inspired some of my songs, my first album, Drifting Away. My girlfriend and I can't wait to visit and experience your museum in person. Anyway, I have a collection in my studio, half music, half true crime. On the music half, I have everything from Elvis, Jim Morrison, and Johnny Cash, and many other musicians. Then I have my weird true crime collection. I'm wanting to send you y'all some stuff for a long time now. Anyway, here's some stuff. I hope you like it. A piece of German cannibal's plate taken from the crime scene, an autograph from my favorite forensic pathologist, Dr. Cyril Wecht. He's worked on JFK, Bobby Kennedy, Elvis, Kurt Cobain. Also my letter from my friend Joe Exotic, AKA Tiger King. Anyway, my girlfriend, me, and all my fans love y'all. If you're ever in Dallas, let me know. I'd love to shake your hand. Thanks for what you do, Skiba. Wow, okay, so let's see what Skiba said. Look at that, so. Wow, Cyril Wecht, world famous forensic pathologist. Cannibal, oh my gosh, that's a piece of his plate. Wow. Yeah, I've read about him and we need to do more research about him. But yeah, I, look at that. There's even a, there's where the, that's where it came from. Oh my God. Human food, human food. Sage, Sage yes. Oh. In a lovely way. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Wow, okay. Thank you. And Skiba, hey, I'm putting you on in the computer to approve for the phone. So I'll have to call you whatever time works. But Joe Exotic. Radiation, I'm in the hospital getting radiation in blood. I need to talk to you about putting me together a couple of low tone songs with a beat like your number one song, Lose Control, so I can record. Interesting, when I get out, my mind just won't go there in here. Looking forward to talking to you, Joe Exotic. I, you know, he'd be interesting to know. He would be interesting to know. That's all, Joe Exotic is a fast, wow. Tell the world and your fans to be my voice, please, Joe Exotic. Well, thank you. Um, fascinating. Fascinating. And coroner forensic stuff, Joe Exotic and cannibal plates. What is that? It's fascinating is what it is. And that's my mailbox. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this, this one came from my brother. And I am... My brother, my blood. And my brother packs things very well. Oh, it's Peeps. Hot tamale Peeps. Fierce Cinnamon Peeps. <laughs> That's so you. <laughs> and, and Scott and Troy. <laughs> oh, an Easter shout out. Okay. Two of our favorite peeps. Oh, from my brother and my sister-in-law. <laughs> Very nice. Hot tamale peeps. This is something I didn't know existed. This is very you. This will be going with you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, let's see. This is, we've got two more real quick. Okay. I already shortcutted this one. <sighs> My favorite. This 
Scott. I know that you will enjoy reading these newsletters. 50 years later, they are very telling. Be sure to read number 46, where Karen is recovering, and there were rumors she had cancer. I think this means the Carpenters. I still hope to take the Karen Carpenter tour one day. Carpenter that we used to do every year. In the meantime, keep up the great work. I still read your website, reference it often, and look forward to your new videos and podcasts. Leslie Parker. Leslie Parker. So these are these are Carpenter's Fan Club newsletters. Look at that. They put romance into rock. Brother, sister. It's so creepy the way they marketed them. That was an old TV guide. Yeah. But, it, but romance, you know, and it's so freaking creepy. And um, look at that. These are like original 76, 74. This is like hardcore, like real original stuff. I promised you. A typical day in the day of the life of the Carpenters this month will cover... The phone rings in their hotel room at 6 a.m. to inform them the time of day. Though their bodies are pleading for another hour or so of sleep, their minds tell them they must get up and be on their way to their next engagement. They dress, pack, and they're on their way. Sometimes it's a cab that takes them to the airport. Other times, it's a rented vehicle. This is, so this is, um, wow, look at that. Richard and Karen wish all of you a great big happy new year. Two more Grammys sit on the Grammy shelf of the den at the Carpenter's home. I've seen them. I've, I've been to the house and I, I peeked inside and I saw the trophy shelf. Wow. Look at this. Leslie, thank you for sending these. This is, this is something you sit down and just like soak in. Very interesting. Negotiations for their own TV special have been completed. It will be sponsored uh, by Anheuser-Busch. If you recall, they sponsored the John Wayne special last year. Wow. Wow. Mark Rudolph. His real name. Here's interesting. Reveal for the first time the identity of Sugar Bear. Yes, there really is such a person. His name is Mark Rudolph. And if you listen to the album when they do the uh, the flashback stuff, that the um, they uh, do a radio phone in call in. The guy goes, you know, Mark Rudolph, you are on the air, and that's who it is. Interesting. He is the first cousin of Karen and Richard. He hails from Baltimore, Maryland, where his mother, father, and sister and your brother. This is great. Thank you so much, Leslie. I cannot wait to to dive into this. This is really, really nerdy fun. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we have one more. So let's let's do this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, they actually work really good. <laughs> <laughs> these, are, these are the Billy Shears. Oh Alright. So oh. they're really sharp. They're good. They're good. My apologies. Oh. I washed the linens, but the sheets didn't fare too well. I suppose that's what happens when they're stored in plastic for 50 years. I should have checked the condition before contacting you, but hopefully the bedspread can be used. Oh, oh, oh. What? Joy sent this. Okay, so this is a very, very nerdy gift. But... Very, yeah, and very nerdy because these, this is the pattern. This is the sheets and the, the blanket or whatever of the sheets that were used in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood for George Spahn. So George Spahn was laying in bed in the movie, uh, um, what's his name? The guy? Bruce Dern. Bruce Dern, yes. And he's laying in bed in the movie, and the bed sheets that he's on is this pattern. And she's like, I have these. What do I do with them? Do you want them? I'm like, well, yeah, because I could use them for a backdrop or something. So uh, for for if we ever do a, like a Once Upon a Time in Hollywood 
uh, uh, you know, display of some sort. I mean, how do we use this? Is this look at that? This is like You're this is like out those old sheets. yeah. This is like usable now. I mean, it's like yeah. really nice, and it's in amazing shape. Like it was never used um, and stored away well. Wow! Thank you very much, Joyce. How nice. Love this. Thank you, Joyce, very much. Thank you for everyone who sent things this week. I love this. Leslie and my brother and... We had to screw up a little bit earlier with the with the video, and I didn't get a chance to show opening this. But Robert Bowers, who uh, has been you know, a supporter for a very long time, sent these uh, very cool articles, all having to do with the Tate LaBianca case or the people involved, Roman Polanski, um, Polanski, Polanski dating Deborah Tate. That's not creepy at all. Uh, yeah, 1981 articles, 78, 79. These are very cool. So, um, Robert, thank you for sending them. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. It'll go in the archives. And, um, and thank you guys so much who have been sending things. Joyce and Skiba and Gala and Leslie and Joel and Ali and um, uh, thank you, really, everybody, for your generosity. It's very much appreciated, and uh, thank you, and until next time. You heard me.